Well, good morning, everybody, and we are back with the bishop. And while the notifications are going out, I would like to send out our birthday shout outs to LJ Rivers, to Jermaine Bunch, to John Feltz. And if today is your birthday, I pray that your day is filled with many blessings, gifts, and love from all around, and that you enjoy as many of the sweet things as you desire. Just don't make yourself sick, all right? It is your day again. As I say, go out, celebrate it, live it up. You've been waiting 365 days for this one day to come around, and we are thankful and grateful and excited for your day. Day. So wishing you very well on your day. Um, if this is your first time watching one of these broadcasts, I want you to know that they are to encourage you, to empower you, to educate you, to motivate you, to inspire you, to uplift you, to move towards your destiny, operating in the purpose for which you've been created using the gifts that are within you. Lamont Walker Ministries, renewing the mind and the body for healthy living. I want to say thank you so very much for all of you who share, who like, who comment, um, who's put up the red and blue dots. Uh, those are the thumbs and the hearts uh, on these broadcasts. It means a great deal to me. I am encouraged and inspired by you. So whenever you do those things, that lets me know that um, what I'm doing is reaching you and that what we're sharing over here is making an impact. And so that's one of the things that we want to continue to do. We need your, your feedback, your encouragement again. And if there are anything that you would like for us to talk about and to share specifically, then uh, by all means, go ahead and put in the comment section or send a message to the inbox and we will definitely get to work on that. But I also uh, want to let you all know that I am thankful and grateful as well for the elevation the Lord has seen fit to bring in my life. And so it is uh, now back with the bishop. That's what we are. The Lord has elevated us to the office of the bishop, Rick, and I am thankful and grateful and excited again about being chosen for such an office. And I am humbled and grateful that God saw something in me that he could use uh, to be a blessing to his people and to serve in such a capacity. And so I again want to say good morning. Good morning, Samantha. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is good to have you there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to share and speak today. Uh, we've been dealing with healing all week long. And uh, today, of course, we want to close out with our Fresh Fire Friday, y'all. It is one of my most favorite times of the week. Friday is my favorite day. And so I am just super thankful and grateful. I got my little praise break music going in the background. And uh, that's what we're going to share a little bit today. It's a song called For My Good by Judah Band Music. And so I'm going to share that just a little bit later as we get ready to go off. But um, this um, today we want to talk about is working for our good. Um, we've been dealing with healing all week long. And so um, one of the scriptures that came up is Romans 8 and 28. And it says, and we know, or for we know, that all things work together for good to them who love the Lord, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And so I want to tell you this uh word today that what you are experiencing, especially in the way of pain, in the way of hurt, uh, in the way of distress, what you are experiencing that is causing you such hurt, such such tears, um, such sorrow, I want to declare over your life and speak it over your life that it's working for your good. Sometimes when it's hurting, sometimes when you're crying, when you're wounded, you know, when you're in a place of depression or suppression or distress, it doesn't seem like that thing is working for you. It doesn't seem like the situation is working for you. All you know is what you feel and all you know is what you're experiencing and you want to get that out of you. Well, let me tell you something. One of the reasons why crying is helpful is crying is a release of what you actually feel on the inside of you. So your tears, as we um, talked about, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, that your tears he said, the psalmist said, they that sow in tears will also reap in joy. And so, yes, cry now because joy is going to come. And while you are moving to that place of joy, while you're moving to that place of harvest where your joy is coming, you stand on or you rest in this word that says that. And we know or for we know that all all things work together for good. So even though you don't understand it right now, just keep right on moving towards your destiny. You keep right on moving forward. Keep right on moving upward because eventually at some point, you're going to see good come from this hurt. You're going to see good come from the experience. You're going to see good come from the catalyst of whatever has caused you the pain, whatever has caused you to hurt. And so you don't flip out. You don't stress out. You don't go down. You don't quit. You don't stop. You don't give up, but you keep moving forward because good has to come out of this. I was having a conversation with my fiance. Um, we've had this conversation several times about like superhero movies. I'm a Marvel fan. I like DC comics as well. But one of the things that I love about it, she's like, well, why do you like this so much? Because I told her it is simply because it always gives us the depiction of what is the truth. 
And what is the truth? The truth is that good always overcomes evil. Good always comes out on top. And so, and it's not that you and I will ever try to be good because the, the apostle let us know that there's nothing good inside of us except Christ. So if you have Christ in you, then you have good inside of you and know that you are going to always overcome. And he told the church in Rome that for we know all things, somebody put it in the comment section, all things are working together for our good. Good morning, Renee. Good to see you there. And so I am thankful and grateful that no matter what we experience in this life, and as I said earlier, that it's this life that we live is filled with a plethora of emotions. It's filled with a plethora of experiences, good and bad and ugly. We have ups and downs, highs and lows, ins and outs, but it's all working together for our good. And so I want to remind you today that no matter what you may be experiencing, no matter what tears you may be crying, no matter what hurt you may be feeling, it's working for your good. That's what I want to tell you today on this Fresh Fire Friday praise break. It's working for your good. It's working for your good. It's working for your good. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but I want to tell you it's working for your good. I know the struggle is real. I know the pain is real. I know the hurt is real. I know what they said hurt you. I know what they did to you. It offended you, but I am here to remind you that it's working for your good. So don't you try to retaliate. Don't you try to get back at those people. Don't you cut those folks off. Don't you get angry. Don't you get frustrated. Don't you get upset at those people because it's working for your good. God has a divine and perfect plan for everything that is happening and you are on target. You are on schedule. Don't let nobody pull you out of purpose. Don't let nobody pull you out of destiny, but you stay the course. I want to tell you, you stay the course. I know you don't like how it feels. I know you don't like the anxiety. I know you don't like it, but it's working for your good. That's what I want to tell you today. That's why I'm here. It's working for your good. That's it, Samantha. All things are working together for our good. It's working for our good. So every person that you meet today, tell them, hey, you working for me. <laughs> Hey, I know, I know, uh, as Joseph said, what you meant for evil, God meant for good. So, hey, I know you're trying to destroy my reputation. I know you're trying to discredit me, but you are working for me. I know you're trying to hurt my feelings. I know you're trying to bring me down, but it's not going to work because you're working for me. Yeah, I may feel the effects of it, but let me tell you one more time. It's working for your good. Good is coming out of this situation. So I love you all today. I thank God for you. We're giving them praise for everything that's working together for our good. So, hey, your kids, they working for your good. Lord have mercy. That wayward spouse, they working for your good. That cantankerous employee, that, that horrible supervisor, they're working for your good. <laughs> So I love you all today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I pray that you've been encouraged, you've been empowered, you've been educated, motivated, inspired, and uplifted to move towards your destiny, operating in the purpose for which you've been created, using the gifts that are within you. Keep going, y'all. Hey, we signing off by saying, hello, 2019. I'm going up and so are you. Why? Because what's coming for you and for me is working for us, y'all. It's better than what's been. Have a fantastic Friday. We'll see you again real soon. Bad love.